Good morning and welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris. All of our military members, past and present, we want to say thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Today, many of you have outdoor plans to commemorate this day and the weather could be a little dicey for some. Large trees that toppled from that storm. Well, this morning we've got a very active radar across parts of Texas focusing in on the south right along Interstate 2 around Brownsville stretching up towards Corpus Christi. The rainfall here has been extremely heavy. In fact, the radar has been estimating about two to three inches of rain has fallen in the region, and that's kind of been the story around Houston this morning as well. Heavy showers and thunderstorms along the Louisiana coastline. New Orleans is not too bad right now, but we are expecting some heavier showers and thunderstorms to push into your neighborhood uh, for today as well. So as we take a look at the big picture for today, we've got strong upper level winds adding lift to the atmosphere across the southern states and we've got a lot of moisture in place as well. A frontal boundary kind of parked here and so with the winds coming in off the Gulf and dew points here in the 60s and 70s today, that front becomes a focal point for some showers and thunderstorms that are going to be moving from the west towards the east. Now there is a chance for a few storms to be strong, possibly severe. And I think the best area that that's most likely to happen is going to be across northern Georgia and then stretching into the Carolinas, especially later on this afternoon as temperatures heat up through the day and the atmosphere becomes a little bit more unstable. The greater concern across the lower Mississippi River Valley as well as into parts of Texas will be the potential for some flash flooding as our rainfall is going to be really heavy from time to time with all that moisture available. Showers and thunderstorms will be scattered all across the southeast as we head into tonight. The bigger focus for stronger thunderstorms at that time will be into the Carolinas. And look at the forecast as we head into Tuesday, going back to work and maybe going back to school for some kids and we'll see some active weather. The I-10 corridor is going to be rough for travel, we think, your Tuesday and even into your Tuesday night and Wednesday, word that I would get <laughs> in a race like that. Hopefully they all had fun and had some nice weather for it. And boy, it was so hot uh, in the Keys yesterday and into parts of Florida as well. You broke a record in Miami yesterday uh, with temperatures of 98 degrees, the second hottest temperature of all time. Now, in addition to that, our UV index is really high across the southern tier of the country for today. And when you start seeing these pink numbers here down into Florida as well as into New Mexico and Texas, uh, you can get a sunburn in about 10 minutes or less. So uh, definitely use the sunscreen for today. And keep in mind, too, that you can actually get a sunburn through the clouds. And even with uh, rankings and numbers here in the six to seven uh, number range, that's still very high. So it maybe takes you 30 minutes to get a sunburn under those kind of conditions. So seek the shade, enjoy it, especially in those peak hours between 10 and 2 o'clock. Well, it's time to take a look at our weekend in view now. I know it's Monday. Some people actually going back to work today. Others, it's going to be a short work week. And here's what we can expect across the country. The big focus of the travel concerns and the stronger showers and thunderstorms will be across parts of the south. And that's going to be the case into tomorrow as well. Hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Houston through uh, places like New Orleans over towards Atlanta. Unsettled conditions will continue into the east. Some spotty showers into your Wednesday to the northeast. But finally starting to dry out a little bit. 70s in New York City by your Thursday. The West hot today, but cooler temperatures coming for the rest of the week and a little unsettled here on your Friday for you in Seattle. Showers and thunderstorms widespread on Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday across the Tennessee Valley into the deep south and on up into the northeast. So we do have frequent chances of showers and thunderstorms. It's just going to be kind of unsettled overall east of the Rockies. Coming up on AMHQ, we're checking in on this morning's travel conditions as millions of people head back home after after the long holiday week when you got a day off of work, right? <laughs> Although that's every day out of the French Quarter, isn't it? Here's a look. All the rain south of New Orleans right now. We're seeing it over towards Morgan City and into Houma. This is going to be spreading up towards the I-10 corridor. In New Orleans, you are going to be in for some really heavy downpours. The rainfall rates could be reaching a good inch plus uh, per hour in some of the heaviest rains. So this is something we're going to continue to keep an eye on uh, throughout the morning hours. It's been most brutal this morning, though, in the southern parts of Texas. Uh, notice we still have one flash flood warning effect south of Corpus Christi. And then we're keeping an eye on a little line here across southern Arkansas and in northern Mississippi. Nothing severe, just some really heavy rain associated with this. Now we do have a chance of some severe thunderstorms later on this afternoon and into tonight. And I think the best chance of that is going to be kind of clipping uh, eastern parts of Alabama, but mostly into northern Georgia and then into the Carolinas. Temperatures heat up throughout the day today, helping to make the atmosphere a little more unstable. But boy, it's going to be a juicy one across parts of the south. 
south. You're going to feel the humidity in the air. It's going to be hitting mist showers and thunderstorms. That's going to be the case into tonight as well. And a few of those still holding on strong into the Carolinas. As we head into tomorrow, a lot of us going back to work, some kids going back to school, some off for the summer, and all those camps taking place. And it's going to be wet, unfortunately. Not great from Pensacola to Jackson over towards New Orleans once again.